Hey, what's going on guys? It is Vito324. Today's video is going to be a remake of my how to use Parsec and Discord tutorial. Um, I have been sending that video out to quite a few people in the past uh, couple years since I put it out and it's I believe it's time for an update. So first things first, um, I'm going to explain what Parsec and Discord is. Um, Parsec is a program that we use to connect to other people's computer, uh, whether it be you, you are trying to connect to somebody's computer to run fun runs or a money show, that kind of thing, um, you would use Parsec to, um, to connect to them. Um, I will briefly explain uh, how to use it uh, in just a few moments. Um, first things first, I do want to explain how to get it. So what you're going to do is you you want to hop on the internet, go to Google, type in Parsec, just like this. P-A-R-S-E-C. Parsec. And then you want to click on the very first link right here. Parsec connect to work or games from anywhere okay you want to click on that it'll bring this up okay you want to click this big pink button right here download now you download it and then it'll bring it uh, up a um, file in your file explorer in, in your downloads you want to go to it open it and then once you do that get it all downloaded you want to then make an account and I will actually bring my Parsec up right now. So you're going to make an account. And once you make an account, this will come up. Except mine has a bunch of people on it. Uh, whether it be people connecting to me or I'm connecting to them. You know, these are all people on my Parsec. So what you're going to do now is once you have your Parsec created and you're ready to add people. Okay. Um, you have to add people in order for them to connect to you or you connect to them. So what you want to do is you want to go here to friends, click on that, go to add friend, and then click their name. Plus, there's a number right behind their name right here um, in the upper right corner. If they don't know what it is, tell them that that's, that's where to look. But most of the time, if you just type in their name, they'll come up. So once you add them, you have to wait um, for them to accept you. Or if, if you add them, or if they add you, this is what they'll see. You click on the check, boom, you have no longer any friend requests. So now what I'm going to explain is the settings. This is, these are the settings that work best for me. Um, they, they might not work for you that well. Um, well, I should say um, they, they won't, they might be different from my settings. So go to settings here, go to client, uh, all this I leave on overlay, overlay warnings, that kind of thing. Window mode, I leave that on full screen, renderer. I leave that on Direct3D 11, VSync, I don't mess with it, it should be on regardless. Decoder, I have that on NVIDIA. Um, the H265, I have that off. Immersive mode, I also have that off as well. Um, host, uh, hosting enabled. This, this has to be enabled for people to connect to you. You have to have that enabled no matter what. And if you don't want people to connect to you, go ahead and hit disabled. Post name, this will be the name of your computer. If you leave this blank, it'll be like desktop and all caps and some random number. So I just have mine as a Vito 324 because that's what people know me as. Um, resolution, I always leave this alone. Use the client resolution. Um, now, uh, the bandwidth limit, this varies on your internet connection and the people connecting to you, their internet. Um, I normally leave mine on 20. 
uh, megabytes per second. Sometimes I can crank it up to 30 megabytes, but most of the time I, I just leave it on 20. Um, FPS, I leave it on 30 because um, when I host, I have the FPS limit locked on 30, so having it on 60 is basically pointless, really. Um, exclusive input mode, I have it off. Display, um, have it on whichever display is your main display. Um, audio, I leave it on default. Uh, echo canceling, this actually helps. Um, it prevents echo on Discord because uh, sometimes if you start parsec before you connect on discord uh you will have a severe echo so have that on and always remember connect on discord first then parsec okay virtual gamepad type you want to have this on dual shock 4 okay i highly 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 recommend having a ps4 controller you can use xbox controllers but i highly recommend that you get a ps4 controller uh, quality, uh, I always, I just leave it on lowest latency, um, and then network, client port, host start port zero, the UMP NP, I leave that on, uh, the congestion algorithm, I have it on new sensitive, uh, audio codec, uh, compressed, um, hotkeys, um, uh, Pretty much the only hotkey that I really use is accept all and kick all. So um, when people connect to you down here at the bottom right here, you're going to see the Parsec logo. This little pink triangle or diamond, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> um, you're you're going to see several of them down here at the bottom where my cursor is. And that's all going to be people. Okay, sometimes they'll have their own default pick on there, like mine. I have my Twitch logo. Um, speaking of my Twitch, a link in the description. Anyway, uh, to accept all of them, you want to hit Control F1. And then if you want to kick everybody, Control F3. Okay, easy as that. Or if you don't want to do that, or if you don't want to accept all of them, and you only want to accept a few at a time, you want to go down, uh, click on their name, and then a little menu will pop up right above their name. It says accept or deny or, or something like that. Um, and you, uh, the one that you want to click on is the, the tan one. The red one is deny. So, um, And then once you get everybody uh, connected to you, you want to check their ping. Most of the time, um, most people that connect to me, their ping is anywhere from... I've, I've had them low as 20, and I've had them, um, if their connection is good, I had them up to about 120, 130. Um, but most of the time, on average, they're about about 40 to 80, somewhere in there. If they're any higher than 150, they've got some, some connection issues. They're going to be lagging, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so just have them, you know, restart their router, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, have them disconnect from Parsec and have them connect again. So um, another thing that you need to do um, in order to host, okay, this is for hosting only. Okay, so I'm going to minimize Parsec here. I'm going to bring up Steam. Okay, this is Steam. Now... What am I doing on Steam, you might ask. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the very left-hand corner up here. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. It looks like it's cut off, but it says Steam, View, Friends, Games, and Help. I'm actually going to go right there. Okay, now you can see it. Maybe. Hang on. Let me fix this for you guys. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. All right. So as, as you can see right here, you want to click on Steam. Go to settings. Click on settings. It'll bring this up right here. You want to go to controller. And then you want to go to general controller settings. It'll bring this up. Okay. Make sure nothing is checked. Nothing 
is checked. If if something is checked, uncheck it. No, I mean no matter what it is. Okay, that will help you. If if you have that a anything checked, you're only gonna have four controllers connect to you at once at all times. Okay, so now once you're ready to host, you want to go. You want to hit escape. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Okay. You, you want to hit escape. Go up here to options. And this little menu will come up. And then you want to go to gameplay. And then right here it says use multi-seat for this session. Check it. Display multi-seat player tags. Check. Okay. And then I'm going to maximize my page here. And then, all right. So they hit escape to get rid of that. So now you see on my caddy here, you see player number two gamepad. Okay. Now that is my controller. Okay. So how to switch cars on how I have it is triangle for PS4 and Y for Xbox. Okay, so I press triangle. You see now that I switched over to my wagon. Okay, so I hit triangle again and I switch over to my imperial. Okay, now um, that's that's how you swap cars. Most of the time, it's either wire triangle or it's going to be up on the D-pad. Okay, so now what you want to do uh, for hosts you want to make sure that you have that key binding as whatever you want okay so we're gonna check that now how to check it you go up here to options go over here to controls and then go to vehicle Okay, ignore that. Don't go to vehicle. Go to general. No. Gameplay. Sorry about that. Gameplay. Go to gameplay. Do not go to vehicle or general. It's It's been a while since I've done this, so I apologize. Um, so, yeah, go to gameplay. And then go down here to switch to next vehicle. And then in parentheses, it says multi-seat. And then whatever you want that button to be, you want to hit the plus. Okay. And then whatever button you press next, it'll bring up a menu. All right. That's not what I want. Okay. So then you hit. And then whatever button you choose is what they have to press so now um discord um this is how you send cars okay most of you by this point will have discord um now in order to send cars you want to go to somebody Okay, so uh, so we're we're just gonna go to my Discord and then f f uh, find whoever you want to send cars to. Let's say I'm gonna send cars to American Beans. You want to right click on his name, go to message. It brings up the message. You want to hit this plus, and then upload a file. And say I want to send my olds to him. Okay, you want to click this. And then go to open it'll put the holes in the message and then you want to hit enter and then it'll send it to him okay um, so now I'm going to explain how to use f11 when you're spawning in cars um, of how to line cars up properly okay so the F11 menu is the world editor. Okay. So it'll bring this little menu up. All right. 
So how to place cars properly is you want to click on the, the car icon on the car itself that you want to move. So let's move my Imperial. Say you have a heat of 12 and you want to condense the cars to get more cars on the track. Okay, you just want to move it, you know, whichever direction. And then you want to move the caddy closer to the Imperial. And then once you move all the cars where you want it, hit the F11 to get rid of the world editor. And then on the keyboard, you want to hit insert, which is right above the delete, right below the print screen, next to the home button next to the backspace button okay it's right above the arrow keys now this is on pc i'm not sure about desktop or uh, uh, laptop sorry so now what you want to do is check where your keyboard mouse is you want to hit insert hit tab go over to the next car hit insert again hit tab hit insert again this will lock the cars in place for the rest of the derby. Okay. So, um, my recommendations for internet speeds in order to host, um, I recommend at least 150 down, 25 upload. Okay. That's 150 download, uh, 25 upload. Um, with those speeds, you can do maybe eight, 10 cars. Um, another big thing to to take in mind is your actual PC and its components. Um, I used to be able to host 14 easy, 15 was my max. I could do 16, but that was before the November 2021 Beam update where it went to version... 0.24.13 I think it was where they introduced the metallic paints and stuff like that in the the paint department and whatnot before that update I could host 15 14 cars easy but since then I can only do 12 13 because the game is more strenuous on your CPUs, your processors. I have a Ryzen 7 2700X, and I, I mean, it's a good processor, but in order for me to host the shows that I want to do and stream at the same time, I'm going to have to update my CPU. So um, make sure your PC is good enough to host. I highly recommend having at least a Ryzen 7 3800. Um, even better if you can get like a Ryzen 9 or a Intel equivalent um, graphics card. It, it that don't really matter um, as long as you don't go below like a 1050 or something like that, which most PCs these days you know come with a 30 series or uh, whatever the uh, AMD um, equivalent is to that. So um, yeah, hopefully this taught you guys. Um, in order how to use Parsec, uh, that kind of thing. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up on my Discord, my Facebook gaming page, or just leave me a comment in the video below. So if this video helped you, please hit that big red subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button while you're right there, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.